We know this ain't right. Man, this can't be life. We gotta unite. Samson and Delilah is one of those stories where they teach you about the power of your of the strength of your hair. They teach you about the power of the God in you. They also speak about the fear of you. And they also show you how you can't trust any and everybody. And how you must be mindful and watchful of not the goddesses, but the weaker goddesses, okay? Your females, um, your bitches, your hoes, your thotty oddies, your thotty bodies, your bops, your sluts, your skeezers, your hoochie mamas. Your bald head scallywags ain't got no hair in the back. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> Whatever name your bussy babies. You hear me? Your hookers. Your prostitutes. Whatever you want to call. You got to know the difference. And goddesses, you have sons. You have fathers. Uncles. Brothers. Nephews. Male friends that need you. Help them too. To beware of these Delilahs. Because our goddesses are God. They are very powerful. Never underestimate the power of our goddesses. They are God. So they are to be respected. They are to be protected. They are to be loved. Understood. Worshipped. Yes. But don't fuck around and worship a motherfucking Delilah. Gotta know the difference. You gotta be careful. And goddesses, you need to warn your males around you and your families about these Delilahs that I'm gonna talk about tonight. They need to be talked about. Because the divine masculine energy is coming back and we don't need to be took out by no motherfucking Delilahs. Also, it's metaphorical for not just uh, the God and the, the masculine and feminine energy. But us as the people, we are Samson. Delilah is the human beings who are not on our side but pretend to be. They shake our hand. They smile in our face. They say, we're not racist. But they would never speak up for you. Those human beings that work over at Wix, those were those who human beings wasn't racist. You know why? Ancestors called them in on my behalf. Got us the right human beings. Because guess what? The first human beings I talked to was on bullshit. They were trying to take the website. Because that's what eventually would have happened eventually if it didn't get straightened out. Right, babe? Yes, correct. Like, no bullshit. <laughs> yeah, crazy. It's crazy. But then we kept fighting, and eventually we, we got transferred to some good human beings. Mm -hmm. And they fought for a motherfucker. Along with those goddesses that I talked to yeah. that work at Wix. Mm -hmm. Shout out to those goddesses that work at Wix, too, that went hard for us. Mm -hmm. That's who went hard for this website. Those two goddesses we talked to at Wix, those supervisors, they were supervisors. And those, those the, 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 um, the white woman, I forgot her name, and the white man, I forgot his name. And one God, Marcus. Shout out to them. So it was two goddesses, one God, yep. one okay. Caucasian man, one male human being, and one woman human being. Facts. Those are the only people that helped us. Everybody else was on straight bullshit. Because mm -hmm. our case was even getting seen overseas. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers overseas, like, he shouldn't talk about that on his website that worked on their compliance team. Yes. Know the difference, right? So that's why I'm saying the goddesses, right? You got to push this message tonight about these Delilahs that we finna talk about. And God's teach your sons. Warn your brothers, your homies, your, your uncles, your dads if you can. That's not with your mama no more. He's still doing him. Because right now, the family is coming back. Unity is coming back, y'all. The air is being cleansed, y'all. Why you think crystals, the crystals helping do it? Because people are coming back in the crystals. All this helping clean the energy, too. People are... 
Wake, it's the great awakening going on right now. Facts, you hear me? Facts. Those who don't want to increase their vibration are going to be left behind. Everything without a soul will be eradicated. And everything with a soul that refuses to vibrate high will too. Don't forget that. Why we got to vibrate high? The energy is going to completely change. That's why we got to talk about Samson tonight and Delilah. The entire air you breathe is changing daily to the point where very soon it's not going to be the air you breathe. And it's going to be that hydrogen. People are going to start going blue again. Green again. Don't panic. Everything's just going back to nature. Facts. Oh, yeah. It's going to get real weird around here. Hollywood movie. I told y'all that. Oh, they got the UFO invasion waiting for us. On top of that, we really here, so that's going to be going on. On top of that, motherfuckers going to start going blue, green, red again because the hot, the oxygen is being drained out the atmosphere. You know what I'm saying? We steady defeating them in these wars and around the planet, so they losing more people on their side that can't keep up these illusions. Oh, yeah. The truth is going to come smacking the fuck motherfuckers in their face. It's already happening. You know what I'm saying? So pay attention to this story. Let's 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 do a rundown of Samson and Delilah, and then I'm gonna shoot over to Wikipedia to look up some facts for y'all to further prove my thesis tonight, to further back up my thesis or this live lecture of pristine esoteric enlightenment. Samson was said to be a Nazarite. Samson was sent to free his people. Samson was a natural born protector for his people, for his species. He had an enemy. They tell you in the Bible, his enemy was the Philistines. And the story goes on in the Bible. And that's why I don't be, people trip me out when I say fuck the Bible, y'all. And they think I never read it. Like, I don't, I, I, I study this shit, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm going verbatim. Ain't no Bible in front of me. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. I can tell you all about William Shakespeare, the nigga who wrote the Bible. I like, don't even get me started. That's a whole nother lecture. Save that for another time. All right? Yes, Shakespeare wrote the Bible. He had an alias, though, that he wrote it under. That's another lecture, though. Samson, Nazarite, protector of his people. He was sent to defeat the enemy of his people, which were said to be the Philistines. The Philistines had a hard time with Samson. He destroyed them. He killed their armies. He even killed the lion with his bare hands. That's what they tell you in the Bible. Okay. Now, Samson was undefeatable. The Philistines were giants, so they say, which they were in the Bible, the Philistines. They were giants. Let that be known. Actually, the Philistines represent us and Samson represent us. I'll break all that down later. They get deep. But as of now, just think of us as Samson. And Delilah represents the Pleiadians and the human beings. And the Philistines will be the Draconian Reptilians. Samson is the story of them invading this planet and taking it from us and how they did it, in a way. So, let's continue the story. Samson, Nazarite, protector of his people. Killed lions with his bare hands. He was sent to defeat the enemy of his people. Who was the enemy of the, uh, of the Nazarites? That Samson the Great was defeating the Philistines. 
And fuck the Bible once again. The Philistines. That's what pissed them off, y'all. They be like, this little nigger fucking really knows his shit. He really fucking reads this shit. He thought he was a thug. He has tattoos. He's fucking a sub. He got tattoos, but he's a, he's, he's a fucking nerd too. What the fuck is he? Divine insight. Anunakai God. Supreme Grandmaster Teacher of the Ape Universe. That's who I am. I am that I am. That's who I am. So let's continue the story of Samson. Their enemies were the Philistines. The Philistines were giants. Samson was whooping their ass. This is what they tell you in the Bible. So, what tactic? Because we going to war, y'all. So this is why this story is imperative to hear. What tactic did the Philistines result to when they could not defeat Samson? They sent in who? Delilah. This word gets good. Pay attention. They sent in Delilah. When the Philistines couldn't defeat Samson, they didn't go get more men. They sent in something stronger than a man. Something stronger than a God. Because a God is strong. Nothing can defeat a God. <clears throat> what can defeat a God? Samson was a God. Nothing can defeat a God. Only one thing can defeat a God. And that's what created it. What's, the only thing that can defeat a God is, is its creator. And what created the God? The goddesses. So, the enemy already knows this. So, he tries to manipulate the goddess to go against the God. Because he understands that the only thing that can defeat a god is a goddess. And once that god is gone, now she has destroyed her protector. So she has nothing left to protect her. And now the enemy moves in and destroys the goddess. He uses her to make more babies that he mixes with his bullshit. Pay attention. So they sent in Delilah. Samson meets Delilah. He don't know she's an undercover agent. He don't know the Philistines that already went to Delilah and paid her off. He thinking that he bumping across Delilah on his own. He not even knowing Delilah was sent in undercover agent. All alone. Pay attention, young gods out there. Pay attention, goddesses. He didn't know that. So he proceeds to get in a relationship with with because a lot of a lot of your a lot to the gods, goddesses out there, y'all know all type of friends that have been killed and got brothers and homies that have been killed, uncles, dads, ex-boyfriends, whatever that have been killed, and you not even knowing that he you thinking there's some beef, some street beef, and this nigga got killed because a female set him up. Pay attention. So, they send in Delilah. Delilah comes in. She makes Samson think she's in love with him. He falls for it because the pussy is good. He falls for it because the pussy is good. This is why you can't get caught up in looks. Delilah was gorgeous, but her soul and spirit was impure. You see, it's a lot of stories in this parable, in this Bible story, Samson and Delilah right here, which can be found in the Bible in, in what is it, Numbers? No, it's in Kings. It's in Kings or Numbers. Don't quote me verbatim. You can Google and find out. But the story of Samson and Delilah is in either Kings or Numbers. Let me see. I'll Google for you. I'm the teacher. I'll Google.
my job to Google it while we in class, y'all, not y'all's. Let me check myself. I'm the teacher. I need to Google. Samson. What book is Samson in the Bible? Kings? Oh, no. I was off balance. Samson and Delilah is in the book of Judges, chapters 13 through 16. So if y'all want to read the biblical story of Samson and Delilah, you can look it up in the Bible. It's in the book of Judges, chapters 13 through 16. All right. I'm glad I went to Google. So it's not Kings or Numbers. I apologize. <clears throat> I know some shit like that, though. It was around there because the book of Judges is not that far from Kings and Numbers. But that's neither here nor there. What matters most is what I'm telling you about the damn story. Because they lying in the fucking book around the board anyway. Even in this story, they presenting it when it means something totally different. And I'm breaking down what it means. All right? So, Samson and Delilah, Book of Judges, you can find it. All right? Now, so, Delilah, after making Samson think she loved him, she knows he's, she, she's trying to find out the secret to his strength. How is he so strong? She out here, buddy. So she asks him, how are you so strong, Samson? How are you so strong? All right? You know, he, he lied to her. He told her, like, I'm this strong because of a rope. But if you was to tie my arms with rope, I would be as weak as anybody else. So Delilah, like, okay, I know, I know. Remember, she's been paid off. So basically, she on the hit. You know what I'm saying? They didn't already paid her off to set him up. You know what I'm saying? That she got to find out his weakness because he's so fucking strong. They can't do nothing with him. All right? So they got to find out the secret to his strength. Pay attention. <clears throat> they send in Delilah. So after they send in Delilah, after they send in Delilah, you know what I'm saying? Then what? What happened? Now she's trying to work her way to find out the secret of his strength. So Delilah, you know what I'm saying? She thinks she knows. So as soon as Samson tell her, she go in the bathroom. She called the Philistines in. Hey, I got him here. I found out the secret to his strength. She was like, it's, it's if I tie him to a rope. He said, if I tie him to a rope, then he going to be weak as anybody else. So they're like, all right, tie him to the rope. So she go back in there. She tie the rope up to him. Leave out. Then she act like she don't know the Philistines out there. Whole time she got the Philistines sitting out there waiting, right? But that's what she do. Samson, Samson, the Philistines are coming. They're outside. They're coming. They're coming. They're coming. Remember, that's his enemy anyway. So he jump up. Remember, he's tied to the rope. His hands and ropes. His hands and his wrists is roped because he's told her to this. So he she he jump up out of snap out the ropes, whoop the Philistines. They take off running. He beat some of their ass. The rest of them take off running. So she like Samson after they leave. She like Samson. Why would you lie to me? Why you didn't tell me? Why you made me like a fool? You told me that your strength came from, from the rope. And if I tied you with the rope, that you would be weak as anybody else. She was like, you made a fool of me. You made a fool of me. Because he don't know that Delilah then called the Philistines, remember? She just telling him they outside. He he already at war with them. So he just thinking they outside anyway for him. He already at war with them. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, he told her like, yeah, you right. I apologize. I'm going to tell you the secret of my strength. He said... If he was to get something and tie my my hair, and Samson had locks. Pay attention, Samson had locks. If you was to get something and tie my, but they don't tell you that in the Bible. They don't try to make it seem like it was really locks. They might say braids or something. But pay attention. Just pay attention to all the examples, right? So he like if you was to take my hair and tie it to the bed, then. Surely I will become weak as anybody else. She like, oh, okay, I got him now. So she wait till he fall asleep. She ties hair to the bed. She go run, call the Philistines. Then she come run back in. Samson, Samson, the Philistines, the Philistines, they outside, they outside. Samson jump up, boom. Shake out, the, break out the whole bed, boom. What's up? Go outside, whoop. They run away. He go back in the house. She start crying. He, why you crying? 
She get you lied to me. You told me that your stem came from your hair being tied to the bed. He hold her. He hug her. Oh, Delilah, I'm, I'm sorry, baby. I don't want you feeling like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be honest with you, man. You know what? You right. You my, you my, you my girl. I should never lie to you. Because that's what she hitting the with. We supposed to be together. You said you love me. You know what I'm saying? Keep in mind, he don't know that she's calling the Philistines because he's already at war with them anyway. You feel me? So. <laughs> he starts telling her, I'm going to be honest. The secret to my strength is my locks. That's what he tells her. He say, I'm a Nazarite. And we don't believe in cutting our hair. We, we we fully gave our will to God. We give our lives to God. So by doing that, we step into our full Godhood. This is what he tells Delilah. And pay attention to this. It's in the Bible. My strength is in my hair. I'm saying. She like, oh, okay. Now she know for sure. He telling the truth because he didn't lie twice. She caught him lying. She got him feeling all bad. You know what I'm saying? He feeling all bad, y'all. You know so he just told her the truth. She not slow. Hey, baby. She not slow, y'all. So, boom. He go to sleep. She cut his hair off. She, come, she has somebody come in and completely shave his head. No, 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 no. She put something in his drink the night before. She made him dinner and drugged him. So he dozed off. He knocked out. She had somebody come in and cut his whole, all his hair off. She go get the Philistines. She wake him up. Samson, Samson, Samson. The Philistines here. The Philistines here. Samson jump up. He thinking he's strong again. He immediately feel he weak. He can't do nothing. Philistines come in, arrest him, take him off to jail. End of the story. No more Samson. Well, maybe they killed him after that. After jail, they killed him. But no more Samson. Delilah goes on with her life. She took her money and kept going. Samson goes to jail, then dies. The Nazarites never win the war because their leader, Samson, was set up by Delilah. That's the story of Samson and Delilah in the Bible. Facts. Now let's decode the bullshit. My bad, y'all. I'm trying to handle the fuckers outside my shit. But I can hear the cars when they driving past my shit. Anyway, so Samson, Samson and Delilah, right? We are Samson. We represent Samson. We represent Samson. Us. I know the car. What was Samson? Let's go to Wikipedia. Let me back up why this represents us. Samson and Delilah. To Wikipedia, y'all. I'm on it, y'all. Wikipedia, Samson. I'm on it. That's Samson ripping a lion apart with his bare hands. Let's break down Samson. 500 people on live. 503 to be exact. Peace to the university. We lit tonight. Well, if the comments was on, y'all, I know y'all be going crazy. <laughs> 503 people on here. I already know we finna get to the point where we got 20,000 people on live on here. I see it coming, y'all. Motherfuckers gonna get tired of hearing that bullshit and they but man. We finna go over there, man. At least on this bitch, we can do us. I'm gonna find out how to pull niggas on this bitch. It's gonna be over with. Or whatever the cost, I'm gonna pay it. I'm just waiting on them to let me know. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, 
So let's go into what Wikipedia said about Samson. Now I'm telling y'all before I go into what Wikipedia is saying that we the Samson represents our entire species. The story of Samson was made, the, it was put out there, right? It was put out there, and you're made to believe, and you're made to believe that the story of Samson is strictly about Samson. Mm -hmm. But Samson represents us as a species. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say it again. Samson represents us as a species. Now, who is Delilah? Delilah is the motherfucking Pleiades. And you human beings. Because remember, our arch nemesis has always been the Draconian Reptilians. Because who are the Draconian Reptilians? The fallen angels. If you've been paying attention, I've been saying this since last year. All your fallen angels shifted into the forms of draconian reptilians and took on the names of emotions. Facts. Some of them even became Pleiadians. Like, facts. All right? Delilah is your Pleiadians and your humans. We are Samson. That's why we, he was shown with locks, depicted with locks. He's God. He comes from the gods. and He given his life to God, which is why the power is in his locks. Even his name mean. Come on, let's go to Wikipedia. Let's see what his name mean. All right. It's saying Wikipedia it says in the Hebrew Bible, Samson was the last of the judges of the ancient Israelites mentioned in the book of Judges. Now, I taught y'all who the Israelites was. I told y'all we are not Hebrew Israelites because the Israelites are. What was Israel's name before? Before his name was Israel, what was his name? Jacob. Jacob is another name for Yakub. Yakub is another name for Satan. Satan is another name for Zeus. Come on, man. Jacob wrestled with an angel. Then turned his name to Israel. Remember that in the Bible? Jacob wrestled with an angel. Then he turned his name to Israel. So that's why I be telling black people, you know, in anybody, mostly black people say this shit though. I'm Hebrew Israelite. When they want to like dissect from religion and think they know some shit, they be like, I'm a Hebrew Israelite. They be like, we Hebrew Israelites. No, no, we are not Hebrew Israelites. Okay? Jacob wrestled with an angel and then turned his name to Israel. All right? They told you that in the Bible for a reason. All right? They told you that for a reason. All right? Guess what? Jacob is Yakub. So there were no Y's back then. I mean, there were no J's back then. There were only Y's. All right. So if you go back and look at the ancient Hebrew text and all that, you will see that there were no J's back then. There was only Y's. So his name was Yakub. But then they tell you in the Bible, his name was Jacob. Facts. So, and the angel that he wrestled with was us. So Jacob represents Yakub. Yakub is Satan. Satan is Zeus. And the angel that he wrestled with was us. All right. And he changed his name. That represents meaning he had to get. He couldn't. He wasn't a god no more. But after we kicked Satan ass and kicked him off the planet, he was no longer considered an Anunnaki god. He he is only Zeus. That's who he is. Outcast forever. You feel me? Ultimate betrayal is what he did. That's how he lost his wings. And he lost his wings. 
Now we ripped them bitches off his whole ass. We lost his wings and then he lost his respect. He lost his rank up in the hierarchy. They don't mean wings like literally bird wings, nigga. <laughs> they mean wings like respect, like 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 um what you would call clout down here amongst us back home. You know what I'm saying? Because he had a lot of respect before he betrayed us. We loved him. You know what I'm saying? If you would have seen how Zeus, who you think is Satan was before he did that bullshit, you would have loved him, man. Because at better time, you did. That's why he was able to sway so many of us away with him. You know what I'm saying? Because of that original love and respect that we all had for him amongst us as gods and goddesses back home. Like, we've been had communities. All right? We've been had communities. I told y'all that. You know what I'm saying? We've been had communities. We, um, communities is not new, you know, basically everything as above, so below everything that, that goes on in the astral planes was brought down here. It's not the opposite way. It's not we doing shit down here and then it went up there. No, everything we do up there, we brought down here. Everything come from above first. You know what I'm saying? Meaning the highest form first. All right. So let's finish reading about Samson though. So it says in the Hebrew Bible, Samson was the last of the judges of, ancient, of the ancient Israelites mentioned in the book of Judges. Chapters 13 to 16. And one of the last leaders who judged Israel, pay attention, before the institution of the monarchy. Now, I just told you that Israel is Jacob. And Jacob is Satan, Zeus. So it says, and we Samson, so say, think that is one of the last leaders who judged Israel before the institution of the monarchy. So when they talk about the monarchy, they talk about our high supreme council of Anunnaki goddesses, all right? But they're not saying that, right? They're just saying monarchy. And they go and they got you thinking about the British monarchy or something like that because they don't, they're don't. they not telling you about us in the Bible. Y'all get what I'm saying? They're telling you um, that this is not real and they're telling you a different story, all right? Then, then, then what's going on? So I'm decoding, I'm breaking it down for you, okay? So, and they say that Samson was one of the last leaders who judged Israel before the institution. We was one of the last ones to judge Satan, right? We was because, remember I told y'all we took Zeus to trial? I'm breaking it down. Bible talking code. Remember how I told y'all we took Zeus to trial? When he turned on us down on the planet, we was ready to fuck him up, but we took him to trial. And we still won in trial, which is why he had to leave the planet. When we came back, he didn't want to leave. And that's when the war went in. So we we represent Samson. And notice how they're telling you Samson was one of the last leaders who judged Israel. And I already broke down where Israel's real name come from. All right? Now, they say Samson. He is sometimes considered to be an Israelite version of the popular Near Eastern folk hero, also embodied by the Sumerian Enkidu and the Greek Hercules. Pay attention. Okay. Mm, gets deep. Uh, matter of fact, I think I told y'all Samson wasn't real. No, Samson was real. This is the story of us. This is the story of us. Hercules, you feel me? Hercules is the European, the European watered down version of our original story. All right. But the way they giving you this story, they give it, they present it to you in the Bible like it's like a whole different way. So let's keep going, though. It says. Hold on. Samson, hold on. Samson name in Hebrew means man of the sun. It's right there. And this is my first time ever reading it on Wikipedia. Yeah. And I already told you Samson us. Hold on. It says right here on Wikipedia. In the Hebrew Bible, Samson. He, in Hebrew, Samson means man of the sun. What does that tell you? Who, 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 who channels the energy of the sun, man? All right. So also... If Samson meant man of the sun, that means he was the god of the sun. He got his energy, his power from the sun as well. So why the fuck they showing you him for? Why is they showing you him for on Wikipedia? You said they be lying and shit right in your face, but whatever though. But anyway, so it means man of the sun. So yes, we re Samson represents us. All right. Now let's read more about it on Wikipedia. 
The, the biblical account states that Samson was a Nazarite. Didn't I tell you that? Nazarite. All right. Let's read about what they say about the Nazarites. What they say about the Nazarites. Because all these titles, Nazarites, all this was us. These are just titles to confuse you. If you have these damn titles, that's why niggas be lost. Like Nazarites, Philistine, da 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 You know what I'm saying? Niggas be all confused. Look, anyway, what they say. In the Hebrew Bible, the Nazarites went on who voluntarily took a vow described in Numbers. Nazarite comes from the Hebrew word consecrated or separated. All right? So the Nazarites were those who had been separated. All right? Nazarites was us too. But I'm telling y'all, fuck all them titles. That's why I like to jump past. I can say all these titles and y'all will be confused. But I'm just showing you how separated, consecrated, separated, because we were the ones that have it separated from our original essence. Okay? So we represent the Nazarites. What else was it about a Nazarite? Nazarites, in order to be a Nazarite, look how they had to live. This us. You had to abstain, abstain from all wine and anything else made from the grapevine plants, such as cream of tartar, grapeseed oil, etc. Traditional rabbinic authorities state that all other types of alcohol were permitted. You have to refrain from cutting one head, but to allow the lock of the heads of the hair to grow. You hear me? Refrain in order to be a Nazarite, which Samson was, you have to refrain from cutting the hair on one's head, but to allow the locks of the head of the hair to grow. In order to be a Nazarite. And Samson was a Nazarite. I'm reading about the Nazarites. Now I dipped off into the Nazarites on Wikipedia because they had mentioned them. And I just want y'all to know who they is. Then they start lying about, about the Nazarites. So we're going to get up out of there. And that, so we're going to go right back to the front page. Okay, so the biblical account of Samson states that he was a Nazarite, which now y'all know who they was. And that he was given immense strength to aid him against his enemies and allow him to perform superhuman feats. Pay attention. They're telling you about Samson. All right. So they say he was given immense strength. And this allowed him to perform superhuman feats. They say Samson, including slaying a lion with his bare hands. And massacring an entire army of Philistine giants using only the jawbone of a donkey. Do y'all hear that? Now, this shit might sound crazy to y'all, but this is what niggas was doing back then. <laughs> and when you read about it, it just seems so unhuman because you can't see yourself doing it. You're right, that's how far you fell in frequency. Let me let that be known because they're not going to say that in Wikipedia. They're not going to say that. They just, they telling it to you like it's a legend. But I'm telling you like, yeah, this shit really took place. Like this is the type of abilities you have within you. All right. So now they say he includes slaying the line with his bare hands and masking an entire army of Philistine giants using the jawbone of a donkey. However, if Samson's long hair were cut, then his Nazarite vow would be valid and he would lose his strength. Where do you think that come from? This is why we're not supposed to cut our hair. Because when you cut your hair, you do lose a lot of your strength. All right? Period. And they put this shit all in front of you, right? Now, Samson was betrayed by his lover, Delilah, who sent, who sent by the Philistines to uh, officials to entice him, ordering the servant to cut his hair while he was asleep and turn him over to the Philistine enemies, who gouged out his eyes and forced him to grind grain at, 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 at a mill at Gaza. While there, his hair began to regrow. When the Philistines took Samson into their temple of Dagon, Samson asked to rest against one of the support pillars. After being granted permission, he prayed to God and miraculously recovered his strength, allowing him to bring down the columns, collapsing the temple, and killing himself as well as all of the Philistines. In some Jewish tradition, Samson is believed to have been buried in Zorah in Israel overlooking the Sorek Valley. All right, so. Now. This is what they tell you about Samson when you go to Wikipedia. All right, so this is why I, I'm telling you, all right, that we represent Samson, once again, and Delilah represents the Philistines. 
I mean, not the Philistines. Delilah is the Pleiadians and the and the um human being, the hierarchy human beings. Because what did Delilah do? Her job was to entice Samson and weaken him to find out his strength. The human beings came here along with the Pleiadians to do the same thing. They came in peace originally. The hierarchy ones. These are all your racist elites that run everything. So, when they came, they came in peace. Remember, I told y'all that. That's why I said don't trust that with them. You have to be careful with human beings. They're very dangerous species because only like 1% of them you, you are right, you can trust. And it's hard to run across them. So, we do keep them. As far as pure, good, white friends, good people that's not on that, they rare. They out there. So, it's dangerous is what I'm saying. I'm going to never lie to y'all. And with it being, the odds being like that, you have to kind of like not trust none of them. You know? It's real hard. Because when they came, they came like Delilah. Acting like they love us, fucking with us. Wanted to try to find out the secrets to our strength. And then eventually we told them. We told them about our crystal towers and how it's our strength and it connects us to everything. The uh, relationship we have with the trees. You know what I'm saying? How um, we use it to power up certain spells that we do and and how the forest. Um, we taught them how the forest sing vibrations. We showed them how to Use alchemy. We taught them how to travel. We taught them how to walk up right. We gave them the alpha beta system. We taught them how to prepare meals for themselves because they required meat. We taught them about all about the planet. Like we just taught them everything because we loved on them, y'all. We fell for that vibration, which was a fallen angel, which we didn't know had who had already been transported into this realm. It was already casting that spell over the planet as well. And we fell for this love shit and we start telling them every fucking thing about us. We start, um, and we should have known we was it was magic at, at hand that they were having help from the Octorians, which is another extraterrestrial race that are like masters of illusions. So the so they, the Pleiadians and the humans when they first came, they did have outside help, and we was just blind to it. We was too we got too caught up in loving on them, y'all. I'm telling y'all what happened. And that's where we went wrong, you know. And they came knowing all of this sorcery and all of this technology, which Zeus taught them, knowing our weakness, you know, knowing that we didn't know about being lied to or, you know, we didn't know nothing about that, you know. So, understand what took place. So this is how they were able to, to trick us out of our power and find out the secrets. As soon as they find out, they attacked us from within. They destroyed our organ energy towers. They destroyed our pyramid towers. That's why I said it's why you see these big chunks. See that big crystal I got right there? See that how huge it was when it's all chunky, chopped up? That's because we had huge towers. They were blew up. They were blew up. That's why all, all your crystals look like that, man. They were blew up, man. And then they take pieces and they shape it and mold it and turn it into stuff like this. Like rare pieces like this. This is a term, yeah, These are rare pieces, right? Dragon eggs. These are real dragon eggs. But they'll sell this to you and, and won't tell you that this comes from real dragons. The dragons are real. But they'll tell you that this is septerimin. They'll tell you that much, but they won't tell you that septerimin is a chemical that's released from dragons. It's dragon blood. Septerimin is dragon blood. It's a very powerful crystal because it's dragon blood. They ain't going to tell you that. They're going to just call it septerimin and then sell it to you. Then they even got certain real eggs, fucking real dragon eggs, and they even nickname them that. If you Google, Google dragon eggs, you'll see Amazon be selling them. They be fake. They don't be real. They be selling fake ones and glass ones and stuff like that. That's why I told y'all download that Rock Reader app for those of y'all who be buying crystals. Download your Rock Reader app. If you get a crystal, put it under that Rock Reader. You can download it right on your phone. It's going to let y'all know right now. For those of you who don't get y'all crystals from the store, because you don't have to get your crystals from me. You can get them from other people, you know what I'm saying? As long as they real, you know what I'm saying? Just be safe, though. But, like, yeah, this is an example. This is a dragon egg. This is going on the website, too, though. But, yeah, this is a dragon egg. And, and it's septerimin. And it helps those who have problems speaking. It helps open up the throat chakra. You know what I'm saying? It's real good to, for increasing your intellectual abilities, right? So this this is but 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 this is a real dragon egg. You know what I'm saying? Dragon blood. You can even see the bone of where the the uh 
the embryo of the dragon originally was. Right there. You see what I'm saying? Right there. But people that don't know the dragon's real, if they buy, if they grab this crystal, they wouldn't know that. They would not know that. You see what I'm saying? They don't know nothing about that. They wouldn't know that. You see, that's why I'm talking about crystals now and selling crystals. Now, I'm going to sell crystals to my people. Real crystal, tell them about it. If y'all going to sell them crystals and they got to buy them, go get them for somebody that know what they talking about. But yeah, um, put, I'm trying to put the dragon egg back on the thing. My bad. So yeah, though, why would y'all call that a dragon egg then? You know what I'm saying? A person wouldn't think about that. But yeah, like, all of this stuff be real, man. You know what I'm saying? They put it right in your face. You just got to ask questions to yourself. Like, why would they name this that? Why would they call this that? Why are they saying this about that? Why would they? Just pay attention. You feel me? Why would that be shaped like that? Why does it look like that? But you talking about, nah, dragons ain't real. And nah, that's not no dragon egg. That's just a crystal in it. And we shaped it like that. And then people will believe that. So you really believe they shaped this like this? It's somebody right now that believes they shaped this like this. I ain't the only one with these. You know what I'm saying? People get them all the time. Sometimes they be real, sometimes they be fake. But if they do get them, they just, they think it's just a, it's crazy, y'all. Yeah, but anyway. So, uh, so, understand this, y'all. You feel me? Like, Samson and Delilah, all right? <laughs> that Delilah was them, y'all. What's y'all strength? How y'all do this? How y'all do that? How we do And we showed them every fucking thing. And that's how we got here. That's the only... I don't believe in regrets. That's what y'all call it on this planet. But if I can use the word y'all call regret down here, listen, man, that's the only thing I regret. I wish we wouldn't have... Man, Joe. Because, like, look, Zeus, they came... Listen, man. Magic is so deep, and I haven't even started teaching y'all about it yet, so I can't talk about certain things until we get to that point. But let's just put it like this. Zeus taught them all type of deceptive magic spells, and they had help from the Arcturians. So combining them two things, we weren't even able to sense them, their intent, like we had. It was all a setup, but it was a good plan, all right? And certain elders, which I didn't know, I found out later, and certain elders on the council did know that that was going to happen. They did foresee that, you know what I'm saying? So that's how they were able to have certain things in place to reverse it, which is why everything broke down December 21st, 2020. Everybody started waiting. That was all part of a reverse counterspell that the Supreme Elderly Council on Xylanthia had did of Anunnaki goddesses. It took ancient spells to break that shit. You know what I'm saying? The power was beyond my measure. You gotta remember, I'm not, a, I'm not a goddess, so I'm not on that elderly council. I'm not a part of that. You know, I was created by them just like y'all. So, um... Those are powers beyond my measures, even my measures, you know what I'm saying, in the astral. So, um, yeah, yeah, but so, yeah, like, but that's the only regret, y'all. That's my only regret, my only regret. And that's a lot of y'all only regret, too. Y'all just don't remember it right now. A lot of y'all don't, and some of y'all, a lot of y'all do. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know y'all was here before. Y'all know that a lot of y'all know. So, um. The Philistines was Samson's enemy. And that represents the Draconian Reptilians because they were the ones who really wanted the planet because they are the pirates of the fucking cosmos. They go to planets, robbing planets, galaxies. They dealing to so many planets. But now the last planet they only got is this planet, you know? They ain't got nowhere to go, nowhere like the warriors. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Nowhere, they ain't got nowhere like it's like that right now for them. They only got this, so they trying to, you know, fight as hard as they can. And we get it, but they gonna lose, but they gonna lose though. All right, so um, and thus it shall be. We will win this war. Thus it shall be, period. But that Samson and Delilah story is deep because, like, even his name being Man of the Sun, some of y'all might have knew that, but a lot of y'all probably didn't. And people, you don't connect those thoughts. You know what I'm saying? You don't connect how they telling you right there, hey, Samson was the last one to judge Israel. And we know Israel, real name was Jacob before he changed it to Israel. And Jacob, real name was Yaqub. Because back then, it was wise. They didn't have J's. That's why Jesus' name, you know, they tried to say Jesus with G. In the early Hebrew language, they only had Y. So it was Yaqub, but they changed it to Jacob. 
And Yakub is just another name for Satan. Like Satan is another name for Zeus. So it all go back to that. You know, y'all feel me? Like it's like, man, and this is all of Zeus's work. You see how he this web of lies? It's him. He told you about himself in the book. Father lies. Zeus. So Samson and Delilah is symbolic of us and what the story of what happened to us, but it's also telling you to be aware too of these goddesses that are not true goddesses and they are vibrating on the bitch vibe. Like that's why I said there's so many lessons out of the story. It's like a, a triple entendre. You know what I'm saying? Like a triple entendre. You feel me? Because it's it's so many, like I say, it go for the the goddesses who like they're not really goddesses, they like just vibing low for their females and bitches, because that's the mentality they own that they choose to be on. Like Satan, he chose to vibrate low. And all them whole ass gods and goddesses that left with him. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. You know, it's personal, you know. It's personal, you know. Motherfuckers had real life relationships, you know. I was cool with motherfuckers that left with them. Niggas had family members that left with them, you know what I'm saying? Y'all just don't remember. Like, it was heartbreaking. Like, nigga, a whole war broke out. Like, you know what I'm saying? Amongst us. That was the first time division ever came amongst us. That was the original division amongst us, way before you ever called black people. It started with us as gods and goddesses and Zeus electing to go a whole different way that we just could not understand. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Why would you do this? Why would you, why are you choosing to do this? You know, this is going to, we don't have no wars. This is going to cause a war because we're not going to be with no shit like that. That's just what he was on. You know what I'm saying? That's just what he on. You feel me? So, I was there in the beginning. That's why I'm so impassionate and int intense. You know what I'm saying? When y'all look into my eyes, y'all looking into the soul, my soul. Y'all looking into an ancient soul. My ancient soul. You hear me? My soul is ageless. I was here in the beginning, beginning. I'm one of the original gods that the goddesses created. You see? Like. For real. Ancient being. You know? I watched the watchers get elected to, to go, you know, down and watch over certain planets. I watched gods come to this planet and have sex with those human being women after we reverse engineered their animal genetics so that they can look more like us, which is how they got how they got today. You know, I remember that. We told them don't don't do that, you know. So that's why, like, when I'm talking to y'all, I'm just talking to y'all through the flesh. But it's an ancient soul, you know. It's an ancient soul, my an ancient soul, you know. And I love you all. Like I remember all y'all. Like I just saying, I remember when some of y'all was created. Like I can go so deep on that level, y'all and be lost. Like so, I just try to keep it at a level where. It all makes sense because I know we just remembering right now. You know? And that's hurtful to me sometimes. I can't talk to y'all the way I want to because I'm like, y'all don't remember who y'all is? Y'all don't remember what we, y'all don't remember who y'all, that's crazy. Like, I be looking like, damn, it's like a lockdown. I be looking at it clearly like I see it now. I'm like, but they, but I'm like, the awoken, they waking up so they seeing it more, but it's still kind of hurtful to see that y'all don't see it all the way. Like, I know y'all gonna see it eventually. It's getting there, we getting there. And then, we definitely getting there, you feel me? So like, yeah, like, yeah, like, like Zeus, like I say, man, you know, the draconian reptilians is nothing but the fallen gods. You don't, you don't, you don't hear me though, like, that's them that's posing this draconian reptilian. So who really is the Philistines? The fallen gods. So who we really fighting against? Us again? We still fighting against us? Because the draconian reptilians, that's us still. Those. Those animated shapes, when they look in their reptile form, that is fallen gods, man. Those are fallen gods. The ones that left with Satan, they upset. They can't never go back home. But they shouldn't have left. We didn't tell them to leave. Y'all chose, they chose to leave. You see what I'm saying? They chose that rap. 
they they probably regret it now. You know what I'm saying? Especially now, cause the run is up. They only had 550 of y'all, which y'all call years here, like a blink of the eye to us. You know what I'm saying? So now they really salty. Like damn, man, we only had this little run, and you know, and and damn shit, you feel me? Why why we even do that? You know what I'm saying? Why we even help Zeus? That's how they really feel. But instead of trying to like be real and admit that and just maybe we can all get back to some of, of core at least amongst us so you're not following gods anymore you know they not gonna do that because they, they they left with satan aka zeus so they are full of his pride which hinders them from their growth which will lead and has led and shall lead to their ultimate destruction Like, it's very personal right now, what's going on. And they are planning a, a heavy attack against you guys down here right now. Y'all gonna rise up. That ain't even the, the issue. I'm just letting you know. And I got a lecture coming up on it. Tonight we just talk about Samson and Delilah, but I'm telling y'all that because a lot of the, they are, they are activating their Autobots and Remember, when they couldn't defeat Samson, they sent a, the goddess Delilah. So they finna start trying to use a lot of our goddesses again to take out a lot of this masculine energy that's rising. And goddesses, y'all can't let that happen. Y'all gotta watch out for them bitches and them whores and them females that's vibrating low, that's posing as goddesses. Be careful. They wearing crystals too now. They throw some crystals on. Look like they on some spiritual shit. You better watch them. And then gods, y'all gotta be careful. The divine masculine energy coming back because it's needed. The 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 the, the remember, the goddesses created everything, so the fem the feminine energy could never die. It was always here. They had killed the masculine energy. That's why they put so many rappers and entertainers and dresses, and they want to demasculate us to make fun of us. You know what I'm saying? To laugh at us and 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 and, and, and lower you beneath your, your your essence of what you are into are in your divinity. It's like it's 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 deeper than that, you know. That's why I'm gonna put this album out because it's all a ritual. Like they put out albums for rituals. My album is just a ritual to increase the vibration of the planet. It's just about increasing the vibration. So I ain't trying to win no Grammy. I ain't looking for no record sales. I don't care if nobody buy it. As long as I make mu the music and it's and it's high frequency, then and I, and I say positive stuff in my mouth, then when it get played, it's gonna be emitting that frequency. You know what I'm saying? If my intent on that record, because I might say some hood shit. I might have to say, you know, I'm gonna tell the real story. If niggas get nigga done got shot, nigga done got shot, nigga done game, nigga done I'm gonna tell the real story. It's all about being honest. You got people in the trenches that need to hear that and see like, hey, he that's where he used to be when he was vibrating low, he had forgot. He was once he remembered who he was and was able to open up his vessel to to let his real self in there again, his higher self in there. That's what it's about. You gotta let your higher self back in. Your higher self be sitting right here just waiting to come back in. And your lower self be in you because they feed you your lower self. You got to crush the beast and let your higher self slide in. It's a wrap from there. All right? So, um, we at war right now. And be very careful of these, these goddesses, man. It's posing. It's out to destroy, to further destroy this divine masculine energy. A lot of the guys starting to meditate now. A lot of y'all starting to practice semen retention, so you're building your energy back up, your life force, your aura field. Shit, start Monday. I'm about to go on a little two-week semen retention, 14 days myself. You know what I'm saying? The further power of this avatar. You feel me? Like, we, that's the mode we're going into. So a lot of guys is strengthening their aura is what I'm saying. And you got a lot of low-level vibrating guys that's going to be trying to attack that. They don't even know why they're going to be trying to attack that. They being activated by the oppressor. You know what I'm saying? Be, you know, be careful on that level. Goddesses, y'all gotta protect the real gods, and gods, y'all gotta protect yourselves so that y'all can be there for the goddesses that need y'all out here. You see what I'm saying? It's a war, it's an attack on our goddesses, and it's an attack on the gods. This is basically what I'm saying. And it's an attack on us as a whole. So Samson is us. But Delilah could be the Delilah can be your mom sometimes. You see what I'm saying? 
Because what did they want to know? The, the secret. Don't let that's also tell you don't let nobody know your, your your deepest secrets. That's why I said don't tell people your crystals. Don't tell people your spells. Don't tell people if you do it. Don't tell people what you know. Let me tell people that. I can tell y'all that because I'm teaching y'all. But y'all, if you're not teaching, you shouldn't tell nobody shit. Unless you're going to teach them and you're going to spread the information. But if you don't feel it in you to spread the information and don't force it, you're not. that means you're not called to be a teacher. That's not for everybody. You see what I'm saying? So, you get what I'm saying? Some people be still absorbing the information. How are you going to teach it if you're still learning it yourself? So, yeah, you know... Damn, that look good, man. You did your thing. That lasagna look good as hell. Ooh. You know, we don't be eating no bad, no meats, none of that like that. None of that going. So I know she done made that nice and healthy over there. I already know. But yeah, though. So yeah. Like. It's real right now. And. We going into the Samson and Delilah effect because we rising. Be very, be very, they gonna start trying to pull our women away. Because they did that shit with the civil rights movement. They, that's how they killed the civil rights movement. They used our own goddesses to kill the movement. We can't let that happen again, goddesses. Don't fall for that. Y'all ancestors fell for that. Some of y'all ain't don't do it twice. They finna start making y'all, try to turn y'all against us. You got a lot of unity now. Don't start falling for that women's independence shit. Don't fall for that. We have a much bigger fight. That ain't never been the goddesses fight. That's been the white woman fight. Let that white woman fight her own fight. That Now, if she want to march for women's rights, let her do that. Because she got the right. Because she too has, she has been mistreated by her own white men. So if she want to march for women's rights and say, you know, men treat women unequally. Yes, white men do treat white women um, lesser than themselves. But far as us, as, as the gods and blacks and Latinos, we never treated our goddesses Lord and ourselves, not na not anciently, not naturally. Shit, the, the, what, the goddess was the highest in the tribe. Niggas couldn't even, you couldn't even, even if you want to look at the Indians, which was us, nigga, you couldn't even be, you couldn't even go to war, nigga, without going, without that, without that, that high priestess in the tribe electing you. Y'all better do your research, you know what I'm saying? So we ain't never disrespected ours. Nigga, that was him do that to his. We wasn't beating our women, nigga. That was him. That's what Christmas was about. They would get drunk, beat their wives. Men would get drunk, beat their wives, have sex with, with each other. Nigga, that's what they would do, nigga. And none of us was involved in that, nigga. So let's talk real. You hear me? We always respected our women. So don't fall for that Samson and Delilah shit this time. They, gonna, they did it before, too. They're going to try to use our women to come at us, try to pull y'all out the movement, try to turn y'all against us. Do not fall for that shit twice, goddesses. If, if, if white women want to fight for that, let them do that. That's their fight. When you was in the slave barn, when we was in the slave barn, y'all was right there with us. When the owner, when the slave master beat your ass, he beat our ass. When that master raped you, he raped us. What you talking about? When has he ever, when have we ever not suffered together? Don't fall for that bullshit. That's her fight. She was...